John, and welcome Gary. Thank you, Raul. It's such a pleasure to be here. All right, coming up next, it's Edwin Wonder Rao versus Bhutay Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the number one in the city here in India, this is Mayweather Fighter! Make some noise! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the night of World Cup Martial Arts. First, making his way to the cage, Edwin Wonder Rao!
like this is check it. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, definitely. It's going to be who can dictate it. When a wrestler is a wrestler's going to try to control, usually a wrestler is going to stop it. But kickbox is always a square uh, takedown and getting taken down. So it's going to be interesting who dictates it right off the bat here when we get going here. That's a great point, Gary. And something else that you're going to see, Edu is going to need to stay off of the center. He's going to need to stay off center to go because he's going to want to try to get those nasty kicks. He's going to be kicking the calf. He's going to be kicking the body. But well, let's look at the keys to victory for both these guys here. Edu going to round 30 years of age, 173 centimeters in terms of height, weighing in 68.75. His side is kickboxing, and he's facing Gurdet Singh of Punjab today. 25 years of age, height 175 centimeters, weighing in 70.4, and his style is MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, first we introduce the blue corner. He weighed in at 68.75 kilograms, representing Karnataka, India. Give it up for Anukunda. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.40 kilograms, representing Pucha. Make some noise for Gurdit Singh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Ranji. Follow my instruction all the time. If I stay stop, stop the fight. If you want to touch gloves, touch gloves and fight. चलिए शुरू करते हैं MFN 12 का पहला मुकाबला. इसमें ब्लू कॉर्नर में है एडुकोंडल राव जो कि आंध्र प्रदेश को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहे हैं आज और इनके विरुद्ध में है गुरतेज सिंह जो कि पंजाब से हैं. Guys, right here, how exciting. Two professional debuts taking place right in front of us in the cage. Definitely, one of the things I'm looking at is the corners here. We got Yadwinder Singh in the major corner, who's actually a pioneer for John MMA, who I've seen fight on the world stage. So at a corner like that with expertise, is very interesting to have. So can dictate certain things. So it'll be interesting how this all starts over here. All right, so the action begins. Shuru ho gaya hai MFN 12 ka pehla mukabla. Cage mein referee Ranjit, third man hai. So we got a we got a kickboxer that's trying to dictate right off the bat. You're gonna fight for the outside stance right here. You're gonna kind of look for the lead foot, which is what uh, uh, Rao is kind of doing right now. He's trying to dictate it right off the bat. Obviously, Gurtage is gonna try to set up the takedown off of one of these strikes right here is usually the game plan in this situation. Yeah, you can definitely see him setting it up with faking those level changes right there. That's a great point, Gary. Great point on the foot, footwork right there. Nice kick there. By and, and there it is right there. Like I said, he was waiting for a reaction off that kick, and now he's taking it to his world, and that's kind of what it was going to be. He was going to be, and we were looking at the tail of tape, that he was going to be willing to absorb kicks to be able to take it to the ground, which is basically what he did. Now we're going to have to see Rao's jiu-jitsu in this situation. But, uh, you know, the wrestling could dictate the jiu-jitsu on top, wrestling on top. It could get really interesting right here. Edu Kondal ne fake kick, and Gurtej ne usko catch karke Edu Kondal ko niche gira diya hai. So right here, he's going to try to stack him up against the cage right here. Good pressure. You want to keep your head underneath the chin, which is what he's doing right here. And what Rao's going to try to do is spin off the cage right here. Gary, I've seen Edu Kondal fighting in the local circuit, and you know what he does? He's excellent on his back. That's the position when, he, when he's pulled off maximum triangles. And I think he's going to go for a triangle from there. Definitely. I've seen the submissions on his record. So, and you know what? He could be dangerous off his back, even though we're, we're labeling him as a striker here. So I, I wouldn't kind of sleep on that whole idea. You know what, though? I think Gurdish is doing a really good job of keeping his head pinned against that cage right there. Also did a really good job of placement of the takedown and staying inside of his own corner. Exactly. Yeah, keeping it on your own corner and keeping your head in the middle of the chest is one of the best defenses and staying low. Kind of exactly what he's doing right now. He's staying over top of his head, but not too high at the same time. Edu Kondal Rao ne MFN contenders mein kuch aisa hi kiya tha apni final fight mein. Wo ground pe the, 
उन्होंने ऑपोनेंट को ट्रायंगल में लिया ट्रायंगल में फंसा के उन्होंने एक एक करके एल्बो स्ट्राइक्स मारे एंड इट वाज ब्लड ऑल ओवर Yeah, so what Gerstage is going to have to be aware of is any arms that he's letting loose. He wants to stay tight because, like you said, he can set up triangles. That's how you get set up in a triangle is letting one of your arms kind of loose a little bit, and that, that's all it takes. One leg over top of the neck, pass the ball, and it can be over real quick. But what Gerstage is doing really good is keeping him stacked up against the cage. You keep the pressure, it's really hard for him to angle off, which is what he's trying to do, what Raul's trying to do, trying to angle off the cage because he needs that room right now. I'm gonna look for Edu to try to walk up that cage as well. Do some cage walking, get back to his feet. But you're seeing Rao trying to grab that wrist, which is usually the first step to setting up a triangle. But yeah, he's trying to walk up the cage or he's trying to angle off of it. But Gertage is doing a real good at just keeping his head pressured up against it. That's one of the best defenses. Gertage has put all of his head on Edu pe dala hua hai. Edu Kondal try to get this lock. And here Gertage is Short strike, Marthi, a chota punch. Yeah, these short strikes, they add up, you know? They They're devastating, damage, John. Absolutely. So, so I know to the average fan, this may not seem like there's a lot going on here, but there actually is. There's a lot of weight distribution happening here. If Gertage weighs on one side too much, he'll get flipped, he'll get put on his side. If he doesn't keep that weight over top, there's actually a lot of stuff going on here. They're really tight in this motion right, which you'll see Rao right now trying to grab that wrist. That's the first step once again to set up the triangle. So there is things happening here. There's little there's micro things happening that you have to come to realize in the jiu-jitsu side of MMA. Bilkul, Gary. So Gary is saying that we will not feel much more action here. There is a lot of weight distribution between the two fighters between the two fighters. They are trying to keep the weight of Edu Kondal down and they are trying to keep the weight of Edu Kondal down. You guys can also see here that Edu has that over wizard right here controlling it. Yep. Tried to go for that triangle there. He was trying to go for it. He was trying to go for it, but Gertage knew to bring his arm right back. Well, all, almost 30 seconds to go in round one of this fight. 30 seconds have become cut time in this fight. But they're doing a real good job of stacking them up against the cage. That's one of the biggest things, especially as a wrestler. The stand up guy, this is how you deplete them, honestly. And right here, you're going to try to steal the round right here by landing all strikes. That was a great up kick. That was a great up kick. Dono fighters are going to be back. और यहाँ पे थोड़ी कुश्ती करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं और ये एडुकोंडल ने बेल से एक लेफ्ट हैंड मारा। So we figured out where each person wants to take this fight। और ये है टाइगर श्रॉफ, बॉलीवुड के सबसे सबसे प्रसिद्ध एक्शन स्टार अभिनेता और आज वो यहाँ पे हैं मैट्रिक्स फाइट नाइट ट्वेल में। आइए देखते हैं एक्शन रिप्ले। यहाँ पे गुरतेज ने एडुकोंडल की किक पकड़ी, दोनों नीचे गए और ऊपर से अपना पूरा भार एडुकोंडल पे डालते हुए गुरतेज ने एडुकोंडल को कंट्रोल किया। So, so these are things that I look for the most. How are they acting between the minutes, right? So. I try to read these little moments in between. You, you, you see Singh already got up. He's already ready to go. We got Raul a little bit trying to get shaken out a little bit. You know, he's a stand-up guy that got wrestled on the ground. So you got a bit more lactic acid that could have built up. So let's see how the round two kicks off here. Aye, chalte hain round two ki taraf. और ये राउंड टू की शुरुआत एडु कोंडल ने फिर एक किक मारने की कोशिश की और गुरतेज बच गए सो आई वांट टू सी इफ दे सेम थिंग हियर वेयर सिंह इज गोइंग टू ट्राई टाइम आउट अ किक गेट बैक टू द ग्राउंड कट अ लॉट ऑफ स्पिनिंग एंड जंप जंप किक अटेम्प्ट्स हियर गाइस या ही लुक्स फ्रेश सरप्राइजिंगली लुक्स फ्रेश सरप्राइजिंगली या and you know, honestly, we were in the gym this morning and that guy was running wind sprints on the treadmill. Not something I would be doing on the day of the play, but you know, everyone has their own thing. <laughs> Edu Kondal Rao, who has basic game kickboxing. He has his kicks. You know, Gary, something he's going to have to be careful with is 
keeping his hands down, yeah. underestimating his opponent. Just because he's a wrestler doesn't mean no nice Superman punch there, guys, connected on the chin. No, no, that's definitely true, especially on a debut. You're obviously, there's not a lot that you have a lot of experience of, so I remember my best fights were when I was on my debut, because you don't really know what to expect. You kind of just go with whatever, and that's kind of what's going on here. Locked him back up, just like you had said, Gary. Looking yep. to take him back down to the floor, get him in his corner, and control him against the cage. So let's see if Gertais has like an inside trip. Actually, I wouldn't take it here because they're up against the cage. Um, could flip to a single here, but the, yeah. He's it, it, looking for the trip himself there. Yeah, it's exactly. Surprising. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a 50-50 right now. Gary, it seems like Edukondal is a little gassed out. Ho gaye and uh, here, some things will not go in favor of him yes uh well, that's very true like he is kind of slowing down a little bit like you see it this is where singh needs to step it up this is where he needs to step it up but both guys uh right it, it, it's really humid in here that can take a toll on your lungs you're pushing against another guy is very different factors that are playing right now one other thing is that edu kondal ko apne haath upar rakhne chahiye apna guard protect karna chahiye because jaise mujhe dikh raha hai gurtej oh wow you know, I, don't, I don't know about you, Gary, but I'm looking for Gertis right here to fake that level change and throw that nice overhand or that nice straight cross right down the pipe. It's definitely there. It's a matter of what kind of exhaustion he's feeling, if his mind's even thinking clear, what his corner really said to him. But I definitely see what you're talking about here. You level change, you send in a fake, you make him bait on it, and you set up an overhand right there. Yeah. But I'm not seeing a lot of it, even kind of taunts or fakes or anything coming from him. So he could have slowed down too, possibly, right? No, and you're right. And you can see it in their footwork, Gary. And something that they're both doing right now is they're both very flat-footed, so very we know that they're tired. Exactly. And also, John, Edu Kondal is telegraphing. He's letting Gurtej know that he's going to throw in a kick. Both these guys on the ground once again. Dubara se fight ground pe aagi hai. Gurtej fair top pe hai. Edu Kondal fair niche hai. And Edu Kondal koshish karte hoi ki kisi tarah se wo Gurtej se nikle. Guys, what a view we have right here in front of us with both of these guys pounding it out on the cage. It doesn't get any better. So this once again comes down to it. The head pressure, you see Gertage right underneath, pressing up the cage. Trust me, it's not very comfortable to have your head pressed up against the cage. I've been there. I know what it feels like. And this is why Raul's going to try to spin out. He's going to try to twist out of it. That's the best thing he can do right now. Uh, but Gertage's number one thing is keep push, keep pressing him up against the cage again. Try to look for a guard pass. His guard is open. Rao's guard is fully open. He's not closing up. It's it, there. It is fully there. Yeah, so he could pass the side control right here and advance his position, but some guys are more comfortable in the guard. You know, Gertish is doing, also doing a really good job of hip control. He's really putting some effort into controlling Udo's hips, prohibiting him from moving and getting away. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, the hip control is a huge thing. That's why he stays square. He's not really throwing his weight to one side, which is how you can get swept. And you can see, I, I see him kind of locking up the one leg. Is he in half? Kind no, of. He kind of is in half. He's looking to advance here. No, he's back in. Back we're in we're back in full now. We're back in full. But it's good. He's he's kind of getting, as soon as he feels like he's kind of being swept back, he goes right back up to the chin. That's the best defense for not being triangled at this situation right now. Matra Bhatti second bache hai is round mein. Aur is round mein bhi, is mukable mein hume wahi dekhne ko mila jo humne round one mein dekha. Gurtej ek dam ready the. Edu Kondal ne kick mari. Gurtej ne catch ki kick aur unko ground pe le gaye. That's something else I really like to see, Gary, and we, and we teach in our school, is using your head as a third hand. It's, it's one of the main things that when I was training with George St. Pierre, one of the things I learned right there. Use their, put your head underneath the chin, like look how he's controlled the whole body off of that. And that, yeah, it, it, it's an amazing way to end the round for the day from this situation. And this was round number two of this match, which is Edu Kondal, which is Gurtej Singh. Come on. Highlights take it jay yaha be Edu Kondal ne unko Gurtej ko lat mara aur ek Superman punch feka Gurtej bach gaye aur yaha be ek aur kick Gurtej Edu Kondal ko niche girate hue. So so one of the things I'm seeing right now visibly with Rao, he definitely you know you can see the exhaustion and I spoke about this earlier that a wrestler can dictate where they want to take the fight and Gurtej has imposed that and. 
it's one of those things where exhaustion takes over. Where Singh does look tired, but I feel like Rao is really feeling it right now. Let's see what he pulled up. He came out relaxed at the start of the second, um, but he quickly imposed himself. He quickly imposed himself after that. All right, so let's look at the unofficial stats. Until round two, Edukondal has thrown three, sorry, Edukondal has thrown eight distance strike, zero clenches, and almost thrown nine ground strikes. On the other hand, we've got Gurtej, who's thrown three strikes, three clinches, and 17 ground strikes. I don't know about you guys, but having these fight stats are, it is so delightful. It definitely is. It gives you an idea of where this fight is headed. Oh, there we go. See, time Perfectly down, another time. one. But he, he uh, Rao defended it so far. Edu keeps going for that inside trip there, Gary. Interesting tactic. It definitely is, but he's not committing to it. He's kind of showing it out there, but he's not committing to it. Aaj is mukabale mein Gurtej ki wrestling kafi prabhav shali dikh rahi hai. Edu Kondal ke kickboxing ke against mein. And you'll see Gurtej is now taking over the middle. He's, he's kind of losing it at this point, but when he started it, he's feeling comfortable now at this point because he wants him to throw a kick. He's trying to bait him into it. He'll probably set up another takedown off of it and secure it again. And now Gary Gurtej is dictating the space. You know, Gurtej is dictating the fight. Oh, and at the tornado kick here in by Edu Kondal Rao. Edu really showcasing his Taekwondo roots here with these spin kick guys. Yeah, it, it, he, he definitely is, but you gotta remember it's MMA. <laughs> you gotta I remember it's MMA, man. But John, one of them is not impactful. No one of them is not impactful. They are showing a lot of things. Spinning kicks, tornado kicks, superman punches. But one of them is not impactful. Oh, he needs a punch. I'm not sure how the judges are seeing it, but Rao has to get a finish here. I think Rao has to press this. He has to get after it. Um, he can't hold back at this point. He has three and a half minutes to try to do something, which is why he's probably throwing the Taekwondo stuff he is right now. Yeah, he's going a little bit wild here. Yeah, his corner is probably pulling the same thing that I'm saying right now. And, uh, yeah. If I'm British, I'm looking for that takedown, secure him, get him back up the cage. Look for that one. Definitely. Uh, especially when he's, uh, he throws the, the, the right body kick. That's perfect coming. He's been throwing it. He'll throw it with the two. And right there. Right? But he threw it to the head there. But that's definitely a third hit. Like, both of these guys showing that they're tired now. Exhaustion has certainly set in. And they're both showing their individual styles that we read on the stat sheet. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Beautiful, now we see his side control pass straight into side. Close up the side control. He's in half guard. We got half guard now. Bahut hi safari se yahan Gurtej ne ek strike fake hi. Aur Edu Kondal ek dam niche. Gurtej koshish kar rahe hain. Edu Kondal ke mount pe aane ki. Gary, I'm pretty sure we called that with the level change in the yeah. nice right hand there. Mystic Jones strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> so this once again, it's about being patient on top and keeping your hips level. I don't know what Raul's get. If, I'm hoping he has the energy to pull something, but his guard is fully open. triangle <laughs> And Bohot he acha bachav Gurtej ke dwara. Gurtej can't get lazy here, right? He can't can get lazy in this. Like, obviously, like, you know, we're in the third round, but definitely Rao is going to get desperate trying to set that up. He's grabbed the wrist a couple times, almost gotten it, but um, Singh has been able to square up, which is the defense for him. Yeah, and he's really able to isolate that leg and almost get him back into half guard, but then he slumps back into full guard. Which seems like some guys are really comfortable there. Um, some guys are really comfortable in half guard, some guys are comfortable in side control. Randy Couture was known for always loving to be in half guard. He never passed the side. So some guys really like, George loves being in full guard because he likes to play. It's kind of what wrestlers like to do. They like to you know they got full control of the hips the entire time. Um, me personally, I like side control. I'm not a half guard guy either. And I like to just be in the middle of it. Matr Pachas second or Bachehe is Mukable me or Abita Kihape Gurtej Kafi Katak Sabit Hue Edu Kondal Ke Kilaf 
Looking for a little sweep here, guys. But he sprawled, swept it all. It's hard to drop that weight when somebody's completely sprawled out like that. These short little punches on top, they add up, man. Lots of damage. Yeah, they add up. They make you look busy. They, they, they definitely got the other guy thinking on the bottom of something. And you can see Rao is frustrated right now. He's, he's struggling, actually. Yeah, you, you see it on his face. You never show that, but he's showing it on his face right now. He's frustrated. He's going for a oh, triangle. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh he's got one. Like, oh. 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 <laughs> Saved by the bell. Wow. <laughs> Saved by the bell. The one thing you went for the entire 15 minutes, you got in the last five seconds. <laughs> so that was bad timing. Bahut hi karab timing yaha pe, kyunki Edu Kodil ne almost Kurtej ko apne triangle me le liya tha, but tabi bell dwara bachaye gaye Edu Kodil. Chaliye dekhte hain highlights is round ke yaha pe wo tornado kick Edu Kodil ne attempt ki. बिल्कुल भी लैंड नहीं हुई और ये दूसरी किक और यहां पे एडुकोंडल दोबारा किक मारने की कोशिश कर रहे थे गुरतेज ने एक स्ट्रेट जैब लगा दिया उनके और यहां पे देखिए ओ दैट वाज वन बिग राइट हैंड और यहां पे ग्राउंड पे छोटे-छोटे स्ट्राइक्स फेंकते हुए गुरतेज बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से अपना होमवर्क करके आए थे गुरतेज उन्हें पता था एडुकोंडल किक्स फेंकेगा उन्हें किक्स कैच करने हैं और एडुकोंडल को एकदम नीचे दबा के रखना है आइए चलिए देखते हैं अनऑफिशियल स्टैट्स को यहां पे गुरतेज ने टोटल 70 स्ट्राइक्स फेंके जहां पर एडुकोंडल ने मात्र 54 फेंके 54 में से केवल 27 पावर स्ट्राइक्स थे एडुकोंडल की तरफ से गुरतेज की तरफ से 37 और ग्राउंड कंट्रोल पे ज़्यादा डोमिनेंट रहे गुरतेज। Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner. बहुत ही बढ़िया तरीके से आज अपने डेब्यू फाइट को गुरतेज सिंह जो कि पंजाब से हैं जीत गए हैं एंड कैरी ये बहुत ही खासी है बहुत खास बात है हमारे मेफिक्स फाइट नाइट में कि हमारे पास अलग-अलग फॉर्मेट्स हैं हमारे पास इंटरनेशनल फाइट नाइट है जैसे